Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. So like the title of this video suggests, you could tie this nymph only and catch trout just about anywhere. Change up the colors, materials, and sizes, and you have the ability to mimic just about anything. This really is more of a technique video than actually a specific fly. I really like tying these on a jig hook with a tungsten bead, but that can be changed up as well. However, if you want to tie it just like mine today, I recommend these Risen Barbless Jig Hooks and their slotted tungsten beads. The way to easily get a bead on the hook is to put the bead in your hand and pierce the bead with the hook point. There's less chance of dropping the bead that way. Place the hook with the bead in your vise. Now with slotted beads, they must be positioned the right way to sit correctly on the hook. You can see the slot is up and down here for the correct position. Now I like fishing these super heavy, so I add .015 size lead wire onto a bog pin and make 5 to 10 wraps with it. In this case I'm making 10. Now for thread, I actually use a ridiculously thick thread for this size hook. In this case, I'm using Vivas 140 Power Thread. Also, I'm using a bright color in order to easily make a hot spot. You'll see why later. Start your thread behind the lead wire, if you used some, and then snip off the tag end. Make loose wraps up and over the lead wire until you reach the bead. Then make a few behind the bead and loosely back down the hook shank. Then you can come back up with tighter wraps covering the lead, making a slight taper. You can see how quickly we build a taper with this thick thread. Now for a tail, you can go natural like this elk hair, biox, pheasant tail, peacock spears, or even a traditional tailing material like Coq de Lyon. All of which will work just fine, but can be more fragile. Or here are a couple examples of synthetic and more durable choices, like rubber legs, micro fibbits, or even flash, like this gold crystal flash that I will be using today. So if you're using flash, clip off one strand and then fold it in half. Measure out about a hook shank length for the tail and tie it in with a pinch wrap on top of the hook shank. Bring your thread up between the two tail pieces and make sure they're positioned correctly. Then cut off the waist and get some ribbing materials. The choices can also be vast for ribbing materials. You can use flash in any color you want, D-rib, tinsel, wire, or spooled mylar like this small size gold silver one here. Attach the ribbing on the hook with a couple wraps, making sure to keep the taper as best as possible. Now for the dubbing. Today I'm using Antron dubbing in hair's ear color. But you can use even finer dubbing, flash dubbing, any synthetic dubbing, and natural dubbing as well. Whatever dubbing you use, just make a thin tapered noodle onto your thread. Then proceed to wrap the noodle up your hook shank, covering the entire hook shank, creating a nice tapered bug body. Now take your ribbing material and make spiral wraps over the dubbing body to make a rib on the fly. Capture the rib material and trim off the waist. Then form a nice collar with your bright thread behind the bead, and whip finish your fly. Generously add head cement on the collar to ensure it handles many strikes from fish. And there you have it, quite a simple fly, quick to tie and fill boxes with. And it can be tied in just about any color combo imaginable. Get creative with materials as well and have fun with the fly. So here are a few versions I tie regularly. Pheasant tail with green antron dubbing and tinsel ribbing. Coq de Leon tail with brown antron and tinsel dubbing. Peacock spear tail, orange ice dub and tinsel ribbing. No tail, black dubbing, and silver wire ribbing. Rubber leg tail, black dubbing, and red flashaboo ribbing. Biot tail, a chartreuse hotspot in the tail. Caddis green dubbing, and gold tinsel ribbing. Elk hair tail, green hair's ear dubbing, and chartreuse wire dubbing. Obviously the color combos are endless. So go have fun with this fly. Also, you saw I used some really high quality hooks from Risen. And I was actually able to negotiate a discount to their shop for you guys and as well for me. So go to www.risenfly.com to get some of the best prices on great quality hooks and fly fishing gear. Type in McFly at checkout for your discount. Also, don't forget to check out my shirts. Not only do I have shirts with my logo on them, but I also have some awesome trap pattern shirts and other merchandise that look great. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.